Good morning, everybody, and this is your Euro USD setups for today. So, typical Monday price action yesterday, no real direction, just uh, drifted a bit lower. We are in a bull trend at the moment, um, that has been confirmed by this crossover of the moving averages. But if you just look left, we have a very strong area of what could be resistance um, and what we are trying to flip into support. So, I'm just going to do that. Um, that's our zone. We'll look at those levels on the lower time frames, but we do have uh, CPI data coming out. So we've got uh, German CPI data this morning, which will impact the euro, and then we have um, US CPI later this afternoon, which will impact the dollar. So this, to me, is just uh, consolidating until that noise hits the market. So when you start looking at the three hour, look at my oscillator separated nicely, crossing over. This is an indication it's going to shoot. This looks like a bit of a flag set up from the move, the long, um, I wanted to say the sharp and steep uh, move, but it wasn't. It was all over the place. But anyway, it was a trend to the upside. So a trend to the upside consolidation. Oscillator's moved off. So the logic says, wait, look for the level to buy off. And uh, it's going to fine tune this level. It has happened. This was 109.148. Now, if we look at the hour, you'll see there's my level. It's just a little bit below that, but that definitely came back to test it yesterday. But look how we're going sideways yesterday already waiting for the data. Moving averages have crossed over on the hour, so I'd want to see them cross back bullish. And then we have a little pin bar here as well that we need to pay attention to. And uh, let's just get down to 15 minute structure. Right. Sideways, fairly strong, sharp move down below the moving average on the 50 minute. Then we just went sideways going into the close. Now we've gapped up, come back, we're forming a bit of a flag. I suspect we're coming back to 109.264. Um, that looks like the most logical one. However, that breaks the moving averages again. So what you're probably looking at instead is a move back to 109.304. So look left, you'll see that's a very strong zone. Um, the bottom end of the actual zone is going to be 109.148. That was a low of yesterday. But that's what I am paying very close attention to. So obviously there is another bit of structure higher up here and this one is going to be a difficult one to, to ascertain. So um, this 109.350 area, if you look left you can see strong bit of resistance, strong bit of support here on the 15 minutes. So the other, the other scenario, should I say, would be uh, run up reject something way higher something like that so reject uh, 109440 come back to this area at 109355 um, build your structure here and that would be entry long so that's the first one the second one is that this is a little bit of a wedge it forms and we come back down to test this area even test this uh, sorry let's do this even test this low of the day, which is 109.273 um, before moving up. So with data, it could just spike down in one minute and then reverse. Be careful. But I'd also just watch. Uh, I wouldn't want to trade as the data comes out. I'll wait 15 minutes before jumping in. But this is really looking like we are setting up for a move to the upside. Eight hour looks like a flag. Okay. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.